The following story has been brought to you by StoriesToInspire.org. The Vilna Gain had two brothers who were his Talmidim. Their last names was Ashkenazi. One was Ramesh Ashkenazi and one was Rabbi Yitzchak Ashkenazi. Ramesh Ashkenazi actually wrote a Sefer Kabbalah called Brisoilam. And these two Talmidim were Talmidim of the Vilna Gain. At some point in his life, Ramesh Ashkenazi, who was a simple Malamid, he was a simple teacher, decided that he needs to take one mitzvah and he's going to make that mitzvah his. He's going to take that mitzvah and embrace it and not let go and keep it to the umpteenth degree. And for whatever the reason is, the Gemara, he saw perhaps the Gemara, the Gemara speaks about something like this. He made a commitment never to walk Dalit Amis, not, not even to move out of his space without wearing a pair of tzitzis. That was his commitment. And he also invested. He bought himself beautiful tzitzis and he made them with the kavanas. And he was very, very invested in the mitzvah of tzitzis. But his kabbalas, he would not walk without wearing his tzitzis. He was a malamed and the way he worked in those days was he was a teacher. He traveled away from his family to some community that didn't have a teacher. And he taught students there. And so he got the money. He was away from his family for a full half a year. And the parent, he saved up all the money, he lived extremely, extremely simply. So when he comes back home, there'll be money to support his mishpacha. And he had his large bag of money that he had gotten. And he was happy to go back, he missed his mishpacha. As he's going back, he hired a wagon driver to drive him from the town he was in all the way back home. They're traveling, it's getting a little bit dark, and he realizes he hasn't davened mincha. So he tells the wagon driver, please stop for a few moments so I can get off the wagon, I can go over to the side of the road away from the traffic, if you want to call it that, and I can daven mincha. And the wagon driver said, okay, I respect that. And he goes over, and there's a tree there, like a little thicket, it's like a little off the road, and he starts davening. And all of a sudden he realizes that his tzitzis, he obviously had very long tzitzis, got caught on the, 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 on the branches, and they were deeply tangled. He tries to untangle it. The more he tries, the worse it gets. And now he has a problem. He doesn't have tzitzis. He can't free the tzitzis. And he made a commitment that he's not walking without tzitzis. It's taking a while. He's standing there motionless. The wagon driver comes to him and says to him, Hiram Moshe, um, let's go. What do you da- how many how many are you davening here? So he says, to the one, he says I, I can't move. My tzitzis are ripped and my tzitzis are stuck to this. I, I don't move without tzitzis. So the guy says, okay, come. I'll take you home. I'm sure you have more tzitzis. He goes, no. It's a Kabbalah. It's a commitment that I am not moving without my tzitzis. So the wagon driver says, okay, I'm going to leave you here. He says, no, no, no. Do me a favor. There's a town two hours back. Go two hours back. I'll pay you for your time and your efforts and go get me a pair of tzitzis from that town. I'm not moving until I get that pair of tzitzis. So the wagon driver says, no, I don't want to go back. And you don't have enough money to pay me. He says, if you go back to get me a pair of tzitzis, he reaches into his little bag that he had on him. And he says, here's all the money that I earned for a half a year. I'll give it to you. Do me a favor. Get me a pair of tzitzis. I can't move without tzitzis. I was mekabal on myself. The wagon driver says, you're crazy. It's a lot of money. He goes, I don't care. He gives the wagon driver all the money. And the wagon driver goes back to the town. And then he thinks to himself, I should go back to this guy. I'm just going to go home. He steals the money. He keeps the money. And he leaves. And nighttime descends. And Ramesh Ashkenazi is standing at the side of the road and he's not moving. He has a little bit of food, a little bit of water in his bag and he eats it sparingly, but he doesn't move. The night passes, the morning, the afternoon, the evening, and Ramesh Ashkenazi doesn't go anywhere. Over two days passed, and Ramesh Ashkenazi stood there motionless. He was beginning to feel faint. He didn't have food didn't have enough hydration. On the third day, a group of from travelers saw him, a man standing there motionless, and they went over and they asked, are you okay? And he didn't even have the courage to speak. He just says, please, please give me a pair of tzitzis. And one of the fellows went into the wagon, opened up his suitcase and gave him a pair of tzitzis. And they carried him back and they gave him some food and they gave him some, some water and they brought him home without the money. But at least he hadn't walked without being Mekayim the mitzvah of tzitzis. Fast forward a few years later, his dear brother, also a Talmud of the Goyim, Rabbi Yitzchak, took ill. And they sent for him to come to his brother's town. His brother is al-Eres Devoy. He's on his deathbed. 
and he comes there and Taki sees his brother is more dead than alive. He's more in the Eilam Elyon than he's in this world. And he walks into a corner and he says, my most precious mitzvah so far in my whole life has been the mitzvah of Tzitzis. Rabban Shem, you know, I gave up my money, Bechol Ma'idecha. I almost gave up my life, Bechol Nafshecha. I did it with my whole heart, Bechol Levavcha. But there's a mitzvah, Mipsar Chaltasam, that a person has to take care of their family members. Rabban Shalom, he says, I am being menadev, I'm donating the schar of my mitzvah Tzitzis to the merit and the schus of my brother, Rabbi Tzchok Ashkenazi, that he should have a refuah. Rabban Shalom, take it. On the spot, all of a sudden, his brother Rabbi Yitzchak regained some color. He opened his eyes and asked for water. And he lived another 15 years. That's what the schus of mitzvah tzitzis could do for a person. That's the incredible importance of wearing tzitzis. It saves us from bad machshavas. It saves us from anger. Looking at the tzitzis, the Mepharshim say, helps us with parnasa. It guarantees lidairaisam, that our children will stay by Taira and mitzvahs. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.